okay, I, I cut up a, a rump roast. Actually, my husband cut it up for me in small pieces of meat. My hands are washed. Uh, and uh, then you let it saute or marinate in this liquid smoke. Tony Cesare, poorly granulated. How much liquid smoke do you put in there? Uh, I'm gonna say a full container of this. Okay. This full container of uh, how many ounces this is, uh, 16 full ounces, full container of this. With this much meat, this is a lot of meat. This isn't normal. <laughs> uh, see, I have sea salt on there, but it's actually real salt. Uh, Okay, that's what we marinated in, that right there. How long do you marinate it? Uh, for at least, uh, I'm gonna say four good hours, at least. Overnight would be good in the uh, fridge, but uh, if not, four hours is, is good enough. And then, I should have already done this. I got this humongous hot. Mm -hmm. I got to put it on four burners because I don't have a commercial stove. Cooking oil, a stick of butter. Now, uh, I'm going by how much I got there. If you're not cooking that much meat, of course you don't need all this stuff I'm fixing to put in there. You either half it or and I have some melted butter that I had. I'm just gonna stick that in there too. After your grease is hot enough, your grease and your butter mixture is hot enough, you're gonna put this inside of here. Wow. You don't want to throw the juice in there because it's just going to cut down on the frying time. It'll make it take longer to fry down and you can put too much juice in it. So sounds like it's getting towards the bottom. It's gone from a, a boiling sound to a frying sound. Yeah. You know, the only there was two things when I was on Survivor that I was thinking about the most. Well, there was three things actually. Yeah. It was your jambalaya uh -huh. and your uh, uh, what stroganoff. Is that? Stroganoff and the fried chicken with the gravy. Chicken gravy, yeah. yeah. Those are the three things. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get them off my line. But this, this is takes, one of my favorites. This takes so long to cook, especially when you're cooking this much. And you gotta have patience with it because it's the caramelization that's gonna make it taste good. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the the meat good and caramelized, I don't care what anybody says. It it's just gonna taste different, and this just makes it. It gives it a real um, wonderful, wonderful taste. Continually, you don't have to stir continually, but I got this spoon that has a flat edge on it. That's good for scraping up the bottom of the pot because that's the best, the best stuff down there. It's getting browner. Browner. Put that good stuff on the bottom. The pan, bottom of the pan. You gotta scrape that off, scrape that off. Seems like a lot of work. It is. Is this one of the hardest? You it's think? nothing I'd want to do every day. It's work. Where'd you learn how to cook this? Oh, I, shoot. I just learned after cooking for 55, 56 years. Would you call this real Cajun jambalaya? Definitely. Def definitely. It's not a shortcut mm -hmm. by a long shot. It's by pouring water in it to deglaze deglaze the bottom. I do this three or four times before before I put my onions in and start caramelizing them. See it. 
turns up the bottom and it's real, real brown, then you let that cook back down. Add some sweet onions. Valdea, if they're in season, if they're not, sweet onions is good enough. About this size, two of them. We'll bring moisture in it and we'll we'll pull up some more of that stuff on the bottom of the pot. I almost put three onions in it, but we love onions. Caramelize it. You may have to turn it down a bit so don't burn the bottom. Sun Ooh. hot. Watch out. My knobs broke. Yeah. I cut up two of them, but I'm going to put in one. Maybe one and a half. <laughs> yeah. Stir it in. Let it cook for another five minutes or so. And just let that garlic get cooked in there. You're not going to caramelize the garlic. You're just kind of roasting it in there right now. I'm going to turn the heat back up. In goes the water. A gallon. I'm going to fill it up to at least two inches over the meat. And just stir and kind of scrape the sides, get the brown off the sides. Chicken base, buy it at Sam's. Been using it for 20 years. Delicious. You just gotta put in it's going to be a little salty, but your rice, it's got to be a little bit salty for it to incorporate to your rice that you're going to put in in just a minute. Now, that was about half of this container. Okay, I'm putting in the rice, and this is by feel only. And, and I've finger in there, right? done it so many times, no, that I can just kind of eyeball it. That's one, two. What kind of rice it is? Best rice in the world. I buy it at Sam's too. Now you see, I'm kind of having to get a feel for it. This is seven. Okay. I'm going to turn it lower. Turn your fire down. Turn your fire down. And I've got a lid here. Put this lid on it. And I usually weigh it down with some heavy pots so that it'll get a good steam and it'll close all the way around. And that's perfect. Okay. Now, once you leave it set like that with the lid on it, Open it, and everything's cooked. You can make you a little salad dish, macaroni and cheese, and you're ready to go. I like to put more green onions on it, right from the garden. Is 
Real Cajun Jambalaya. What was your mother's maiden name, Mom? Gillot. Gillot. It's spelled ranch. Mm. This is the best jambalaya in the world. Right, no doubt. Right here in this house. Best jambalaya in the world. I've eaten jambalaya all over the place. You can't buy this in a box.